Hello, I'm Dr. Gerard Eilert, and if you're watching this video, you must be doing one of my courses this term. So what I would like to do is to take this opportunity to say welcome, and I hope you have a successful term. And before you start, I thought I would give you a very quick tour of the Moodle site. Now Moodle has been updated, uh, so we have a new version of Moodle, and the courses that I'm teaching are being completely rebuilt or newly created. So they have a different look and feel about them, and I thought you might appreciate a quick tour through that site. Now, I'm going to focus on one course, which is ACCT 29083. Um, you may not be studying that course, but it doesn't matter, because what I'm going to show you is simply the common, set up, common settings for that Moodle site and you'll discover the content of the Moodle site when you log on to your proper course. Okay, so with that, let's go and have a look at Moodle. Okay, so here we are. Um, when you open it up for the first time, this is what you're going to see. Up here, you have the name and the term, a uh, pretty picture, and you get to see me. So there I am with a nice welcoming message, and that's what you're going to see first up. Now, before I move to the modules down below, uh, what a lot of students neglect is the very important information over on this side, the left-hand side. So a quick tour here. First of all, it's very important that you read your course profile, and you can find that right here. So you click that link, there's your course profile general information, policies, learning outcomes, these are very important. There's your textbook. Referencing style is very important. So here it says that in this course you must use Harvard and there is a link to a very useful guide in using Harvard. So in all the assessments that require referencing for this course you will have to use Harvard. Teaching contacts, okay, I'm the only one there. Uh, that's me as a course coordinator, but other contacts are in the Moodle site. We'll get to them soon. There's your schedule. That's very useful to know. And overlaid with that are the due dates for assessment. And down here are your assessment tasks. So written assignment, and for this course you have an exam. So each course will have a slightly different mix of assessment. But you find everything you need to know here. You might not find the actual topic you've got to write about or research, but everything else is here. Importantly, you have your due dates and be aware of the penalties for late assignments. It's 5% per calendar day late. Um, this is important. This is the time and date that we pledge to have it back to you, have your results back. So please don't email me or ring me asking when you're going to get the results. It's there. There's the weighting. This one's a 30%. There's assessment criteria. There's your referencing style. You submit online. If you want to see the graduate attributes and the learning outcomes assessed, they're there as well. Okay, so that's your course profile, a very important document for you to follow. Here are your course contacts. For this course, of course, there's my smiling face. Tech Lama will be teaching in Sydney. Jennifer will be doing Brisbane. And I'm not sure about Maggie in Melbourne. I think I have a different uh, lecturer in Melbourne. We'll see who turns up. News Forum. Uh, there's nothing there at the moment. Uh, there will be in week one. That's where I send general announcements to you all. Q&A. Okay, so there's been some discussion here already. Uh, I've put in here a frequently asked questions section. So please refer to that before you start contacting people asking questions. The chances are that the question you're about to ask is dealt with in here. So check that out first and I'll probably add to that during the term. And general discussion is for you. Uh, to post questions and also for other students to respond. So it's a bit of a, a mixed bag, a bit of a village, so we all help each other out in the general discussion. Assessment, 
If you click in here, this tells you what, your, what assessment you have to do. And also, this is where you're going to submit by pressing that button there. Further support, you have IT if you need to log uh, support through the IT help desk. There's the library website, help with Moodle. Now this one is very, very, very important for you. If you need to request an extension, you must do it through this link right here. So don't email me asking whether or not you have, you need, whether or not you can get an extension. Um, I'll simply tell you to put your request through there and it will be considered. So anything that you contact myself or your lecturer by email regarding assignment extension will not be considered uh, as a request for extension. So save yourself some time, go straight here. There's your link to MyCQU, a guide to uni study, which is very useful. Any personal support, help that you might need during your uh, learning journey. The Academic Learning Centre is very useful. Here's their website, uh, where they're located. There's their Moodle site, um, online forms, help with referencing. So these are the people who are very useful in helping you um, if you need help writing an assignment uh, or especially with referencing. Okay, so we'll go back to here. Here's our home page. Now, down here in the, in the uh, modules, you'll find it's a little bit different to what you might have had in the past. Uh, I've constructed these modules in terms of lessons so that I have one lesson per learning activity, or sorry, learning objective. So normally they will look like module T2. You'll have an introduction, learning objectives, some notes. Um, I might have some chapter maps, uh, which are simply diagrams of, you know, summarise what you'll read in that chapter, uh, textbook chapter. Some students find these very useful, others find it not useful at all. So that's up to you, it's a resource there if you want to use it. Um, there's module two, so when you click on that, this one you would have noticed um, matches learning objective one. There's a bit of reading directed to the textbook, and then you get some interactive matching activities. Uh, depending on the module, there might be a little bit of a uh, multiple choice. You don't get any marks for these. It's just a little bit of uh, recap so that you can um, keep what you've learned fresh in your mind. And when you've done that, you press submit and it will take you then to the next lesson. So if there are three learning outcomes, then there will be three lessons. Only the first one will be um, available to you first, so you step through them one, two and three. Once you finish the last one, you will get access to the workshop, which will give you one at a time the various um, questions you need to do uh, for your tutorial, if you are an on-campus student, or if you are a distance student, then this is your tutorial or workshop. So put your answers in there, your best answer, uh, based on what you've learnt, and I'll regularly come through and um, give you some feedback on this. Now, if you are an on-campus student and you are going to tutorials, please, you will get the most out of this course if you go through these and do these before you do your tutorial. And you will have a much better learning experience. Uh, other modules might be set up like Module 1, where if there's a lot of extra reading I've provided besides the textbook, you might get a separate web page like this, for instance. So there's some extra stuff uh, as well as your textbook chapter. There's your module one activities or lessons. There's your workshop. And there are some readings. So. That's fairly standard stuff. Uh, now, for my courses at the moment, you'll have the first two modules open when you start the term, and the, 
and further modules will be opened up progressively during the term. Okay, so there we go. Um, fairly simple Moodle site to get around. Um, just remember that as well as the content down the middle of Moodle, please don't neglect the very important stuff that's put over there on the left hand side. You'll find it very helpful and whether you're on campus or whether you're studying by distance, uh, it helps to remind you that you're not alone, that there is help out there. And if you're if you are having trouble with your learning, you're not understanding things, please make sure you make contact with your lecturer or tutor. And if you have trouble with the course content, the Moodle site, um, or you have a question that is not included in the facts list, uh, send me an email, please. And um, I can help you with that as well. So good luck. Uh, I really hope that you have a successful and a rewarding term and continue on and have an excellent uh, experience as a student at CQU. Okay, cheers folks and um, good luck. Fingers crossed and let's hope it all turns out good for you. Bye.